Well, in recent months, the Kiwis have been winning everything. The women's cricket team sensationally won the World Cup of Cricket and also they retained the America's Cup in outstanding fashion as well. But on the second Tuesday in November, it was the Aussies who came to the fore. Just Believe taking out the Trotters in his usual emphatic way. And what a brave win by Swayze in the New Zealand Trotters Cup. I caught up with the winning driver, Cam Hart. Well, Cam, congratulations. What a performance by Swayze, yourself, the brilliant drive and a sensational training performance by Jason Grimson. Yeah, thank you. No, it was an unbelievable feeling uh, going back to back and yeah, just can't thank the horse enough uh, for how brave he is and uh, Jason for um, you know being a genius to be able to pull it off. So that was super, um, especially when we didn't expect to be there. Uh, it's just made it even more special. Cam, what a constitution and an attitude Swayze must have. He covered more ground than the early explorers to get there. Yeah, unbelievable. He's just um, he's just an unbelievable horse the way he handles things and the big occasions and um, you know even he got to the track there on Tuesday before race one and he just went to sleep all day and he was just so relaxed and I think that helped him with the plane ride and things like that. He doesn't get himself uh, too stirred up about things and he just looked a picture which is you know full credit to Jace. Um, but in saying that, like it's hard uh, if you don't have the right sort of horse, it's still pretty hard to get him in top shape in, with that preparation. So, yeah, full credit goes to the horse. Cam, what a brave performance. He looked down and out for the count 100 metres from home. Yeah, Blair gave us a little bit of a scare when he darted to the inside. He, he's a zippy little horse, uh, don't stop dreaming. But uh, yeah, once he headed me, I could really feel Swayze pick up. He felt like he grew a foot tall, to be honest, and just and really fought on. And, and on the line, he was pulling away again. But um, yeah, it was just an unbelievable win. Does he like a fight? Yeah, he loves it, yeah. I, I knew it would pick up for me. Uh, I was just hoping that Blair didn't have too much zip left in the locker and luckily his run probably ended with, you know, 100 to go and, and mine was just, you know, getting up through the gears. So, um, yeah, it was super effort. doesn't matter what side of the Tasman you live on, Cam. If you're a harness racing fan, you love a champion and we saw that in spades on Tuesday with the performance of Swayze, yourself and Jason and also Just Believe so congratulations to Greg Sugars and Jess Tubbs the Kiwis just love champions as we do over here, the reception the three of you got were outstanding Yeah, it was awesome, the atmosphere there was incredible and especially with such an exciting finish when I come back, the crowd um, was just loving it, so um, it was super to be part of the day and like you said, it was great to go over there and and beat the Kiwis, but I'm sure they they did appreciate having two great horses there Well, they come over here and beat us enough so it's nice to get one or two back on them Yeah, that's right, we've had a couple of good years, but uh, you know, it's been a a long time uh, that they've been coming over here, having big success, so it's great to be able to travel a couple over and, and get a win. Cam, no doubt it's hard to suggest that one's better than the other because the first one's always special, but can you compare the two or one over the other? It is hard to compare. Um, probably in a couple of days I'll, I'll sit back on it a bit more and have a think, but um, you know, it's always hard to beat the first one. It's, um, you know, growing up you think about winning these races, especially in New Zealand Cup, so um, to get that first one out of the way it was it was awesome but and then with all the the theater around uh, the last week or two with Swayze not going and then he was going and, and then to be able to get the job done uh, that was super exciting as well suppose your st- head's still in the spin you've only just arrived back in Australia this morning yeah got back in about 7 a.m this morning so um yeah it's been a bit of a long day but I got home for a little while rested up and uh, yeah got to the track here tonight and had a good night and just on Just Believe, what an emphatic win. Just an arrogant performance once again and, and another brilliant performance by Greg Sugars. Yeah, he's such a super horse. He's so cool to watch, um, you know, even for someone like me that's going around in every race um, to, to just sit in the stands and watch him go about his business. It's a real pleasure to watch just the way he, he's so relaxed and he just flops around and when Greg asks him, um, you know, he only has to move that rein a little bit and, and he picks up and, and just takes off. He, he must be unbelievable to, to drive and yeah, full credit to Greg and Jess that have managed him so well his whole career. Okay, we turn our attention back to May of 2023, Bathurst. In fact, it was May the 10th. Swayze had his first start for Jason at Bathurst. One, he's had 15, uh, 21 starts all up now, 15 wins, three times runner-up and against quality opposition. Second on th- uh, Third on two occasions, fourth one occasion. So what a remarkable performance. Yeah, just unbelievable to, to think back uh, that start at Bathurst, his first start. It, we definitely didn't think he'd take us on the ride that he has, even though Jason was confident that he was going to do a super job. Um, he'd always loved the horse since he was a baby uh, when he had a bit to do with him. And 
he was really happy to get him in his stable, but um, definitely couldn't see the heights uh, that he's gone to, and it's just been unbelievable to be part of it. Unfortunately, we're not going to see him go around in the Inter Dominion, which commences in a couple of weeks' time. But Tamworth and Penrith are about to receive a huge bonus with the appearance of the three of you, Swayze, Jason, and yourself. Yeah, I can't wait to get to Tamworth. Um, obviously, he's uh, earned his break. He'll come home and probably have an easy week and uh, miss the Inter Dominion just with the gruelling series with a lot of runs in a short period of time. But yeah, hopefully we can get a fair, fair few thousand there at Tamworth and pack the joint out. And um, yeah, he'll be first up for a while, so I'm sure he'll be at his best. And I'll let him really rip around there and, and give him a bit of excitement. And of course, if the uh, Penrith meeting comes around, the Renshaw Cup and the million dollar bonus is there for the taking. It uh, should be a uh, house full. Yeah, it should be. Uh, it should be, you know, a real good uh, grand final finish, I guess. Um, yeah, hopefully we get a bit of publicity coming uh, into all these races, and I'm sure by the last one uh, we'll pack out Penrith. Someone has just arrived on the, this side of the Tasman. You've driven two winners already at club. Now you've cut cut it fine on both occasions, but they don't pay on the margin, do they? No, nah, that's right. We've just got to get home by a whisker. And, um, yeah, luckily enough, I've had a couple of horses really want to stick their head out for me. So yeah, it's been a good night. Well, Ken, once again, congratulations to all concerns. Yourself, a brilliant drive, Jason's performance as a trainer, and, of course, Swayze, just another gallant performance. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it.